Hey, I'm going to show you how to make a divider line on your website underneath a title or a paragraph of text or something grow as you scroll up and down the website. No plugins, no extra CSS code, just using basic scrolling effects with Elementor. So I've got a section, I've got one column, I'm just going to make the box of 900 so you can see it on the screen, nice and easy. And I'm just going to give this a tiny bit of padding so it just moves down the screen a little bit. We'll go for about a thousand below so we have a bit of a scrolling effect going on there. And I'm also going to give this a dark-ish background colour, something like that. I'm not overly fussed to be honest, I'm just showing you how it works. We're going to drop in a header. Now I'm just going to add in a divider line. So we just get divider and I drop it in. Now when the line comes in it's going to be quite thin. I'm going to leave it as a solid and I'm going to set the alignment to be to the left. I will speak to you about that in a moment as well. So divide a line. I'm going to go now to the uh, width of this and I'm going to set this to be lower than 100% because I want it to grow as you scroll up and down the screen. So I'm going to shrink this down to be roughly about, I don't know, we'll start with about, let's go with 40%. Okay. Imagine your headline is longer, right? So as you scroll down, the line's going to go across. Now we'll go to the style. I'm going to reduce the gap, basically have literally like no hardly any gap there. And in terms of the weight, I'm going to increase it to be about uh, four, just so we have a bit of a, a line going on there, thickness. I'm also going to go to advanced and I'm going to drop the top margin. So I'm going to have it a little bit closer to the headline because that's the bit I'm underlying. OK, now then here comes the trickery bit. Let's just change the color and I'll give it an orange color for now so it stands out. The first thing I'm going to do is add in a scrolling effect. Let's go to advanced, let's go to motion effect, and I'm going to go to scrolling. We're not going to do vertical or horizontal scroll because that will just move the line. I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to scale up. I'm going to increase this to nine. Now, as soon as I do that, can you see the line has now moved over to the left? Because scrolling effects do have this funny way of kind of doing that. But don't worry about that just yet. You can see the scrolling effect. Now look here. Even though I have said scale up, it's moving to the left. And this is where if you go back to what we just did with the divider, and instead of having it left aligned, I now do right aligned. Watch what happens. And this is where you have to get your head into gear. As I now scroll up and down, it grows to the right by clicking alignment right. So normally our brains will go, we'll stick it on the left because we want it to start on the left, but then it grows to the left and you stick it on right, it grows to the right. You've got to get your brain around that, okay? So divider, 40% solid, giving it some weighting, alignment right, advanced, motion effect, scale is scale up and nine. That line needs to start underneath the headline. So there's two ways to do this. You could either use absolute and reposition it, which is not always recommended, or you just use your left margin. I've done minus 872 to move it that way along, but we have a full line. What you now need to do is kind of put a number into the right margin, a positive number, because we've used negative to move it over. We need to now put a positive number in. By putting in 300, I've moved over. I now need to shrink my left margin to bring it back in line, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. This feels like a lot of faff just to get to this. I mean, don't forget, okay? Once you've done this, you can go to the divider, right-click it, and save it as a global, and it will now be available for you over here in your global widgets. So you can just, like, drag and drop it in, and it's got all the settings built in for you. So you're not having to repeat this over and over again. Let's look at this in preview. We got our headline with our line. As we scroll, the line grows and it is rooted to the left-hand side and it's moving over to the right. And that is a, I know you, I, I should say simple, and you think like, that was not simple, divide a line and then a bit of margins, scrolling effect. Yeah, okay, it's not that difficult. Now you might say, it doesn't move until you get to this point of the page. Well, yeah, if you want it to start earlier on, go down to your scrolling effect, uh, 0% to 100%, like that. So if we now update that, let's go back in again. It's continuously growing, okay, until you get, you know, look, so you now have a line. So you could have more lines going on there how you want. It's not a progress tracker, by the way. This is just a line underneath your divider. Divider lines, no CSS, no plugins needed. Now, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I hope this helps you out. You take care.